Oops. <laughs> hey guys, I'm not sure how long I have. I am in my trailer on the set of Matchmaker Mysteries, our third movie, and I just wanted to say hi and check in and little mic. I want to remind you guys that we can always do little micro exercises just to like get our body moving. And I was having a thought about that. I was having a thought about exercise in general because it's one of those things we all need motivation for. This is McKellar motivation, although it's not Monday. I missed Monday the last two times and did it on different days. So I'm thinking I'm just going to call it McKellar um, motivation today. A micro exercise. I mean, I didn't, I, there's no formal definition of that. It's just something I made up, although I'm sure I'm not the only one. Little exercises, little things to do. And I will tell you something. And yes, I want to do shout outs in just a moment, but I don't know how long I have. So I want to get to the meat of this right away. And that is that no matter how little time we have, we can always do something. And we don't need to think of exercise as something that means you have to get all sweaty and work your muscles. You're like, well, I don't have any time. So what am I going to do that's going to help my muscles? There's no point. Think of it instead as increasing your circulation. Think of little bits of exercise as increasing your circulation. I mean, literally lifting your arms up and down like a few times. And if you guys can put your phone down and just do this with me, just up and down. And there's actually, you can do like this, like you can stand up and then sit down and stand up and sit down. Uh, you can do arm circles, which I don't my, So I'll just do some arm exercises. And by the way, I know that I look like a dork right now. I'm fully aware of that. And I don't have a problem with that. And I hope <laughs> that you guys don't mind. Uh, being like being cool has just never been my thing. So yeah, you get exercise chasing your dog around. So little things, and you'll see that after even just doing arm exercises for a little bit, you'll be like, I'm breathing a little more. I feel like I can feel the circulation. Um, what else can you do? You can press in like little little pulses. Are you guys, is anybody doing this with me? I realize you're gonna have to stop to do it to say yes, but I would love to know if anybody's doing anything. Just like little pressing in, pressing in, pressing in, um, up and down, you can touch your toes. My grandmother, who lived to be 99, every day she would reach up and touch her toes. She'd do it like 10 times just to kind of get the body moving. Doing, <laughs> yes, I know I'm, you learn about static friction in physics class? No, that is not like a super awesome nerdy take on exercise. I don't know what is. And yes, this is, I was a math major. So you guys, so if you have any questions about like what I'm doing here, either the ridiculous arm movements that I'm doing or the movie that I'm shooting, feel free. It's fun watching. Just moving around. Yes, moving around, you look funny. But in the, in the moment, but it's good for you. Exactly, exactly my point. My microphone is starting to slip now. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Thomas. And so, yeah, so the idea of not thinking of exercise as something that has to take a half an hour or longer and that you have to build up a sweat and you have to be building your muscles. Instead, think of it as, yeah, stretching, moving, getting circulation going. Because you can do that when you're literally on the couch. Because I am literally on a couch right now, <sighs> 1 a.m., you know what, at 1 a.m., you can still stretch, which is really good for you. You know all the stuff we learn about, how our bodies operate, how the cells deliver, you know, our blood delivers the oxygen to our cells and does all this stuff, all the things that happen for our metabolism, all that stuff, all the ways that our cells work for us, our immune systems, all of that, yes, multitasker sizing. Yes, all of that only happens if things are, are working properly and circulation is how things can work properly. If you sit there for a long time, you know, your arm tingles, get, like, like your circulation is cut off and then it comes back. We want the opposite of that. We want lots of breathing and moving. And I'm doing all of this just, I'm sitting. I'm sitting on a couch, sitting on a couch. Now, granted, you can't scroll at the same time that you're doing this, but you can. Um, do some like squeezing. You can like squeeze your legs and then release them. Squeeze your legs and release them. Also, if you're female, but I think male too, you can do Kegels, which is like squeezing the under, you know, the undercarriage. I'm not finished shooting for the day, Allison. So at any moment they could knock on the door, but they said that I had like 10 minutes. So we'll see.
<laughs> Thank you, DDN Jesus. Yeah, so I'm not in Toronto. I'm in Vancouver, actually, Canada. So I want you guys to squeeze. We're going to do Kegels right now. What was that show I was watching? The Kaminsky Effect. And they start, <laughs> the two characters, Michael Douglas and Alan Alda, is it that it was? Um, are talking about Kegels. And no, it was not Alan Alda. It was um, the other Alan. Oh, somebody tell me who that was. Anyway, the point is that they start talking about Kegels and then there's silence. And then one of them goes, are you doing that right now? And he's like, yeah. Me too. <laughs> and as soon as you feel like your arms have a little more energy in them again, start working them again. I am shooting a movie called Matchmaker Mysteries. The Art of the Kill, I believe, is going to be the subtitle. It was not Alan Thicke, no. Uh, but thank you. Come shovel snow in Wisconsin. I bet that's good exercise. I am not 24 years old, but thank you, Thomas. I appreciate that. Hello, Baxter in North Carolina. Hello, Mario from Mexico. Alan Arkin, thank you, Weston. Yes, Alan Arkin. He was great in Kaminsky Method. I hope they're making more episodes. That was a really, really good show. Arkin, yes, thank you. Someone else over here just said it, but then they, oh, thank you, Baby Bear. Yes. No, not Alan Rickman, although he was great. Alan Arkin. Hello, Redkin Mom from New Jersey. Yes, Matchmaker Movie Stretches. And then you can pick up your legs. Again, we're sitting on the couch. This is exercise you can do sitting on the couch. You can't see what I'm doing there. Lifting one knee, then the other knee. One knee, and the other knee. And tighten your core as you do it. Tighten your core. These are micro exercises that we're doing while we're chatting. Micro. You. <laughs> well, the great thing about uh, Kegels is you can't see if someone's doing their Kegels. I will say hi to Victor. I just shot a scene with Victor, Deborah, and he's great as always. And now he's shooting a little scene that I'm not in, and so I have this little break. So it's like, all right, I saw that I had a break today. I'm like, I'm bringing my stuff. We're going to do a little broadcast. Knees go up. Uh, my son loves to make fun of me because when I'm brushing my teeth, I'll do like back kicks or I'll do squats. He's like, Mommy, this is you, this is you brushing your teeth. <laughs> Because sometimes we get so busy, we forget to move our bodies. If we don't move our bodies, then our, our blood isn't circulating, and then our bodies can't, not just our blood, our, our, our you know, lymphatic systems and all the stuff that makes our bodies work and keeps our immune systems healthy, which is kind of a thing right now. Everybody wants their immune systems to be working properly. Circulation. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Tim. How do I find this energy and great attitude all the time? Exercise helps. It really does. But I don't always feel like, I don't always feel upbeat. I don't. I I have my days where I'm like, I'm not doing anything. But when I'm feeling inspired, then I want to share it with you guys because it helps all of us. This outfit doesn't look safe to work out. And well, I'm not doing something to get sweaty. I mean, I might get a little, I mean, it depends on how much of this we do. But squats. We're like, this is, I'm not really doing squats. I'm standing up and I'm sitting down. And I'm standing up and I'm sitting down. What are Kegels good for, Phil? Some of you guys probably know what Kegels are. Some of you don't know. Uh, Kegels, are it's an exercise that you do. It's basically just squeezing the undercarriage of your private area. Um, and it's really good for you. It's really good for you because apparently as you get older, all the organs and things start to sort of settle in, in ways that aren't very useful for us. Uh, it's not a sexual thing. No, no. I, hey, if someone's being like a troll, that's fine. It's actually a really good question. Uh, Kegels are really, really healthy for you. It's not a sexual thing, although I guess it can help with that. But it's like lifting everything, keeping everything where it's supposed to go so that it works better. And yes, yeah, somebody mentioned multitasker sizing. And uh, that is uh, a term I coined. Again, probably not the first person to coin it. Where you do something, you do a little exercise while you're doing something else. So we are doing little arm exercises while we are chatting. That's our multitasker sizing right now. And now all your we need to, yeah, and again, don't think of it as like, oh, I should work out more. I mean, yeah, sure, we should all work out more. But even just doing this is like a little gift to your body. You know they say random acts of kindness? We're usually talking about random acts of kindness for other people. 
like a little thing, like see somebody on the street who you don't know, or even somebody you do know and compliment them on their shirt that they're wearing or whatever you catch that catches your eye. You don't need to lie, but if there's something that you notice, a lot of us don't give that compliment because we're just, we see it and we go, that's a cool shirt, but we're not, we're like doing something else and thinking about something else and not realizing, wait a minute, if I say something to that person right now, it's actually going to like make their day and they might pass that forward. And that's just a beautiful thing. Random acts of kindness. How about random acts of kindness to yourself, like little micro exercises? Hmm? How about that? <laughs> and ab you are absolutely right. Fitness is 80% diet, 20% exercise. You're talking about like, you know, how much you weigh, right? But this is not just about how much you weigh. This is about being healthy. This is about your body being able to do all the processes that it needs to be doing. The, the human body is absolutely incredible. All the stuff that's going on inside our body right now, from breathing to our heartbeat, to circulation in our body, to the to the lymphatic systems and the muscles and all of the nerve endings and the uh, all the messages going back and forth, it's absolutely amazing. But it all works better if our circulation is good throughout our body. So these are just you know little micro exercises. If you see someone wearing red lipstick, you always says you always say something. Yeah, and self-care, just like random acts of kindness, don't have to take a lot of time. They don't have to take a lot of energy. They just, you just have to be conscious of it. You just have to think of it. Oh, well, thank you so much, JB Dev. I appreciate that. I am working on a new children's book that comes out in 2022, in February, so 13 months from now. I don't have a fitness book, no. I am not a fitness expert. I just talk to you guys about fitness here and there because I know how important it is, but I'm not an expert. Stretching from Colorado, Russell, nice. Yeah, here's a nice stretch. Straighten this arm and then pull it across. Don't And don't do anything to, to strain yourself, but just uh, kind of pull it like that just a little bit. Just put the phone down on the table or wherever you are. And breathe through the stretch. And to the other side. Hello, James from Kentucky. Hello, Gil from Mexico. Who else wants a shout out here? My pleasure, Lizzie. You saw me doing yeah yoga on Instagram once. I probably I probably did, and I have my yoga mat here in the trailer, but I can't. And then you can put your elbow up here and stretch. And if you stretch to the side, you can feel the stretch all the way down the side of your body. And we were just doing little micro, micro exercises, little things to help ourselves. A uh, little self care here. Don't, don't die, my TZL from Boston. See, I didn't want to say your name. How do you pronounce that? Sizzle. These movies are a little bit like Inspector Mom. Yeah. So I did a series of TV movies called uh, Inspector Mom on Lifetime. When was that? 15 years ago, that was 2006. Wow. And this is similar. Um, an ordinary, everyday person who helps to solve murder mysteries. Now I'm going to stretch by putting one leg over. You can see it. And yes, I do have like these crazy boots on. You can see it. And then just, just lean forward uh, and feel the stretch in your leg. Do I have a math, math book for a fifth grader? Yes. Um, I recommend Math Doesn't Suck. It's actually the first book I ever wrote. It deals with fractions, decimals, percents, uh, proportions, ratios, things like that. <laughs> Hello, Ariel from Argentina. Hello, Jack from Oxford, Michigan. Hello, Sean from Georgia. Wow, you guys, I guess I got more than 10 minutes. This is very exciting. Haven't I? I haven't timed this. I don't know how long I've been on for uh, production is, is, I mean, production has, yes, restrictions with COVID. We, um, I mean, there's, there's the, you know, testing and the masks. Um, and I'm like looking at these things and hopefully you can see them. <laughs> You're doing this right now, getting that good stretch in. Oh. I just reminded you to take a walk after you eat. Uh, yeah. And everyone's wearing a mask. Everyone's wearing a mask. And I, I have a shield on because my makeup would come off with a mask. I wear a mask in the morning, but then once the makeup's on, then we just wear shields. And everyone is social distance as much as possible. And, you know, the meals are different. They have these individualized meals they give us now instead of taking from 
a community buffet. So there have been changes, but we're still making movies, and I'm really, really grateful. Thank you, Viper. I think that was a compliment. I'm shiny, shiny. <laughs> there's probably not going to be a Wonder Years reboot. There's probably, there's probably not going to happen. No. I don't have any math puzzle books. No, I've got, so I write math books. Some are just entertaining books that have a little bit of math in them, like 10 Magic Butterflies or, um, or Good Night Numbers, things like that. And then when, yes, it's, oh, we're filming it in Canada, um, Barb in Niagara. Uh, but then, and then I've got books that teach math. So do not open this math book is addition and subtraction. Do not open this math book because there's a little Mr. Mouse character in it who's really afraid of math. And then there's the Danica character who helps them out. And, and it, you learn all sorts of things about addition and subtraction, the common core stuff they're doing now. Um, and then I have another book that just came out actually called The Times Machine that teaches multiplication and division for third and fourth graders, including how to memorize your multiplication tables in really fun ways. And then also the multiplication and division methods they're teaching, in, they're teaching in Common Core and the way we used to do it and showing how it's really all the same stuff, et cetera, et cetera. And then I've got Math Doesn't Suck, which is middle school math. Then I Kiss My Math, which is like seventh, sixth, seventh grade. I guess it's still middle school. <laughs> this is better than Teen Bot Magazine. <laughs> Thank you. And then I've got Hot X Algebra Exposed, which is Algebra 1, and Girls Get Curves Geometry Take Shape, which is high school geometry. So if you go to mckellarmath.com, you can see all the books from ages 0 to 16. But that's basically what I what I have. I like to teach math. Thank you. I did not do my own hair, Melissa. A professional did it, which is why it looks so good, because I don't know how to do this to my hair. It take me so long. Do I ever sit around and factor quadratic quadratic equations for fun? That's a good idea. I haven't in a while. But it won't be long before Draco's doing that, to be honest. Well, probably in less than a year he'll be doing that. Because I'm his school. I'm school that's my son. He's 10. He'll be 11 this year. But I am his mom, and so we do lots of math. It's probably way beyond his years. Because I can't help myself. I tried. I really did. I tried to slow down, and then he just likes it so much, and I love teaching him. And so soon, we'll be factoring quadratic equations for fun. Um, movies are shot in Canada, not just Hallmark, but a lot of movies are because of the tax credits. The Canadian government wants to incentivize film companies to come up here, and so they, they give credits back. They pay, in other words, the film production companies a bunch of money, depending on how much money the, the movie um, spends in Canada, like on employees that are Canadian or whatever, um, services like the crowd catering and all that, all that kind of stuff. There's a credit, a certain percentage of that gets paid back to the production a few months afterwards. And it's a huge incentive. Plus the, the uh, dollar, the American dollar is stronger than the Canadian dollar. So you get more for your money. Lots of reasons like that. It's all money. It's all about money. Plus, but also it is beautiful up here. Can't just discount that. And everyone is really talented and really nice. Canadians are so nice. So guys, any last question? Oh wait, here, let's do a little more of this. A little more of this. Bigger arm, bigger, slower arm circles this time. Remember, we are doing little micro exercises while we're at it. Let's stand up and sit down, because that's good for you too. Up and down. And up. Do I really need to? narrate the fact that I'm going up and down when I'm doing this probably not happy birthday Horatio and then if you keep your, your core really tight while you do this you'll actually feel a really good full body workout it's super simple but you'll feel the circulation everywhere I have a few more uh, hours left today this movie will be on Hallmark it'll actually be on Hallmark movies and mysteries I think they're saying April 25th or 26th. I can't remember which which day. And then go the other way. Reverse your arms. Ooh, I'm feeling this. I feel the burn. Anybody feel the burn in their arms? Whew. I'm actually getting my heart rate up just standing up and sitting down and doing this. It feels good. This is a no excuses workout. That's right, Oscar. Sitting on the couch. Sitting on the couch. Oh, and then do this. Thank you so much. 
Um, you know what? You there is um stretch here again. There is an app where you can get Hallmark movies. I don't know if you can get Hallmark movies and mysteries, but I bet you can. I think it's called Friendly TV. So check it out. If you can't get a Hallmark channel for whatever reason, or Hallmark movies and mysteries channel, check out Friendly TV. Just Google it. I'm pretty sure that it's less expensive and you can get Hallmark, but check it out. And I think I think it streams all of them, like when when movies uh, when they're airing. It does have all the Hallmark channels. Oh, thanks, Rich. Okay, guys. Well, I hope some of you worked your body a little bit. You know, you can do a little isolation, isometrics, I think they call it. <sighs> John, what we're doing is we're doing little micro exercises. You can even do things like just uh, stretching your your hands like this. <sighs> Actually, you can feel it, feel it in your arms. Or you can do. You know, rolls like this. Just little rolls for your spine. Super good for your spine. And then if you do it the other way. Thank you, April. Well, I appreciate you guys showing up for this stuff. Oh. I feel like there's something else I want to tell you guys, but I don't know what it was. But. There you go. I can feel like a little workout. You can also, oh, do ankle rolls. Just ankle rolls back and forth. Wake up your body. Wake up your body. That's what it feels like. It's not exercising. It's waking up your body. Let's call it that. Let's not call it exercise. Let's call these little acts of kindness that you do for yourself waking up your body. Because that's going to wake up your brain. You know, when, you, when you've got that good circulation going in your body, you can think more clearly. You've got more energy. It gives you energy. So instead of thinking about working out as something that's exhausting, think of doing these little exercises that increases your circulation and wakes up your body. And then you might actually be inspired to go for a run. Or you might be inspired to write that novel you've been wanting to write or whatever it is because it wakes you up and it motivates you. I'm not taking a break from social media right now. I just haven't been as active because I'm busy working. Speaking of that, I'm going to, um, I'm going to go. They haven't called me yet, but, and I'm glad I got a little extra time with you guys. But remember, little bits of exercise, little things to wake up your body. Again, don't think of it as exercise. Just think of it as a way to stretch get your circulation going in little ways. Nothing that is beyond what your body is, what feels comfortable in your body. And remember, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. I'm not anybody who knows anything like Take the advice of your own doctor if you have any doubts whatsoever about what you're capable of doing. But I recommend little bits of exercise, little bits of movement through, through the day to wake up your body. And I think you'll feel much better. And you'll be healthier because you'll have better circulation. Thank you so much for joining me uh, on Dan the Cam. And uh, I hope to see you guys really soon. And I, you'll certainly be getting more updates from Matchmaker Mysteries. Oh, you can follow me actually at Matchmaker Mysteries. So on Facebook and Instagram, it's at Matchmaker Mysteries, and you'll see all sorts of behind the scenes stuff that I'll be posting. And on Twitter, it's at Match Mysteries. So sending you all lots of love, and I'll see you soon on the Danny Cam. Bye.